Hey guys, so glad you came back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of doing other videos. Um, I'm still going to do my candle reveals, of course, and I'm hoping to start doing some monthly subscription boxes where you don't really know what you're getting. So we still have some surprise things coming up on my channel. Um, but this kind of goes along with um, the polymer clay that um, Hannah and I have been doing. And I wanted to show y'all because my eight-year-old daughter is really into uh, miniatures. So like any small, cute little things are polymer clay. And so we've been scouring the internet and I have a video coming up. I'm going to show y'all the little um, mini kitchen she got. And all these are vintage toys. So made anywhere from literally, I guess, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and and in that time frame and they're just really cool and I think it's really cool that my eight-year-old loves that stuff instead of just I want something new off the shelf today so um I got her the mini kitchen and that that'll be coming up in another video but she was inspired to get that from and I, I can't forget the channel name but she does if y'all have ever watched the channel on YouTube called RR Cherry Pie where my friend Alex got us watching those videos where they make I'll show you it's where she makes all the little Japanese candy kits like these. And we're going to do this one for y'all coming up. So those became really popular on YouTube. And there's this one girl. She actually bought a little toy fridge or a little toy kitchen. And she actually cooks in it. She actually makes tiny, itty bitty, real little food. So Hannah wanted a kitchen so we could do that. Now the particular one I got her, I don't know if we can do that in because it's made of tin. Um, which is what this is made of, and I'll show you. I think we need something a little heavier, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, I got this fridge to go along with her kitchen. Um, when I saw it, I bought this one off eBay. I have had a lot of luck off eBay and Etsy. Um, I actually thought Etsy was just for homemade stuff, but no, people actually sell all sorts of stuff on there. Vintage toys. Um, this particular one, Again, I did get off eBay. I saw it. It was a great price. Um, it was auction. And I think, I think after auction and shipping, it was around $30, which kind of sounds insane for a mini kid fridge, but for something nostalgic and you can't get anymore and was made a long time ago, hey, I'm willing to pay that because if I go to Walmart, a uh, Barbie doll costs $25 nowadays. So, um, yeah. And it is made of metal. It's not plastic like most stuff nowadays. So I guess she could pass this down to her kids. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. Um, anyway, what's really cool is I'm going to take you guys through this little mini fridge because it's so adorable. And I'm not going to lie. I used to think miniatures were stupid. When I saw them on YouTube, I was like, this is dumb. But now I, <laughs> I think they're just so adorable. Um, I don't know. I just got into them. What I really like about this fridge is... You can tell it was made a long time ago because they actually had to punch holes in the tin to actually get the little label on. And it has a cute little, it's actually metal handle. I'm not sure what this is at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> it does have, oh, that's all the food in there. Um, it does have a battery compartment and it does open. And I think, uh, we haven't put a battery in there yet because it's a big, big old school one. Um, but I think the lady I bought it from said it does work. I could be wrong. Um, so I think this lights up and it's a gear and I'll show you all the inside in a minute. So here's kind of what the outside looks like. You can tell, you know, back then how they had to make things, all the tin parts just kind of snap together. And this is similar how her little kitchen was made. So here's what it looks like. And it's a pretty good weight. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think tall is around eight or nine inches. So pretty good size. And when you open it. Let's see, what does Hannah have in her mini fridge? She has packed this baby full of stuff, so I really don't know what's in here. She's at school, so I'm kind of creeping through her fridge. Is that kind of creepy? Come on. Here's inside, here's inside her, her mini fridge. Now, there are some little shelves. I'm creeping down in there. I don't see that she has anything. Now, when we bought this, I think the reason we got it so cheap, and I know you're probably thinking, $30, that's cheap. Yeah, start Googling how much these little vintage kitchens go for. Some go upwards of $400, okay? So these didn't actually have shelves when we bought them. Um, the shelves were missing, so my husband helped her. Um, we just got some cardboard or an old photo album, cut it up, and covered it in foil. I asked her if she wanted me to do pink or pretty paper. She said, nope. 
just silver shells so and they do come out and we'll kind of look and see what she's got she's got a lot of my charms in there I've made her I'm not sure um it has I think with the battery I think this was supposed to light up and spin and in turn if you see let me see if I can show you there's a little uh, I don't know if I can show you without it falling mm -hmm. oh, they, there's a little black knob in there um, the black knob actually when the motor went I'm assuming that it turned this little tray like this and this would go around and around so that you could see the the food inside okay and so this would spin around but like I said I haven't put the battery and I had all this nice and neat but you know she's probably been playing with it so some of my clay that I made her she's got some stuff in here ice cream sandwich a little ice cream and then on this shelf oh we're gonna make it fall looks like she's got some cookies I made her and some pop tarts let's see she got a cake and I made her this baked potato and pancakes with butter her fridge is looking good I need to Probably looks better than what we have in the fridge right now. <laughs> probably need to go shopping. Ooh, what is this she's got? See, this is the cool thing. You go creeping through your kids' stuff, and you just don't know what you're going to find. She has, look at this. I don't even know she had this. It's like a tiny, what is that? Gingerbread man. I don't know if it'll focus. Can you ask him? Look how cute. I don't even know where she got that. It has a hole in it. It's a pencil topper. It is so cute. She had this on the top shelf with a tiny cup. Isn't that cute? So obviously she's locking the kitchen, putting miniature stuff in there. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And I made her, I think I showed y'all in one of the charm videos, but... Everything's kind of, ooh, it has some more toast in here, made her a little toaster, and it has two pieces of toast that snap in. Someone off of YouTube inspired me to make that. It was all in here nice and neat in my defense, put her drink up here. So yeah, I just thought I'd take you guys through this cute little miniature kitchen that we got, and... I'm hoping she really takes care of it, you know, because it's kind of like a piece of history, too, you know, and it's not something all of her friends are going to have. So, there we go. Here is our retro mini kids toy refrigerator. Absolutely love it. If you guys have any, um, like, retro toy kitchen stuff, I'd love to see a video if y'all have it, because it, it really is getting hard to find that kind of stuff, and it's like a piece of history, so... Super, super cute. Now I'm going to go put her fridge back before she realizes I creep through it. <laughs> and be looking for her kitchen video because it is so stinking cute. Wait till y'all see it. And don't forget, Hannah's been bugging me. We're going to try to make one of these. Um, hopefully just going to make it a short video. It's probably going to turn out terrible. I'm not good. Never done one of these before. So yeah, be looking for that. I will see everyone real soon. Bye.